here's some advice on how to use GEDmount. First, you need to upload your, your raw data from um, Family Finder, 23andMe, or Ancestry.com. When you click on the correct company, you'll get instructions on exactly how to download the raw data and upload it here at GEDmount. Uh, once you've uploaded it, you can use the one-to-many matches. All of this is pretty self-explanatory, actually, the one-to-many, one-to-one. But the admixture is a little bit tricky. So here's how you use the admixture when you want to find, um, to look at your um, ethnicity charts. First, you select a project you want to look at. And I heard that the um, that this project, the, the DoteCAD project, is, is one of the best projects. Um, then you click Add Mixture, the first choice. And from there, you add your kit number. And then a chart will be generated. It's going to take a while. <laughs> I have too many things open. It's going to take a long time. Come on. Okay, so it's calculating all of my um, percentages for the ethnicity, and it will make a pie chart. Yep, it's going to take a while. Come on, hurry up. There it is. Okay, now we have the pie chart. And each of the projects has um, several pie charts. And um, at the bottom, you can select to have your DNA compared to four different populations. And it will give you the closest uh, four populations to your DNA. And that's what that looks like. And I think the other one is two. We'll give you two different populations. Option one, I think, just gives you two. Let's see. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know for sure. We'll see. Maybe it's, yeah, if you hit one, you just get two populations. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's only two. So here it compares you to two different populations and gives you your best fit, you know, in those possible matching populations. Uh oh, what the hell? Okay. I forgot to have to reconfirm when you want to go back. Continue. So, 
I don't know, but um, they also have a comparison for Native American. Some of the other projects have Native American. Let's see, maybe K7. Let's see which one has a Native American. I don't know, what happened? Yes. Not going back, go back. Continue, come on, go back. There it is. So I'll see if they have the Native American on here. It might be the Euro genes that has the Native American. Yeah, I don't think it's this one. Go back. There's no Indian on there either. Hmm. Continue. I'll try world. We'll keep trying until I find one. <laughs> I know one of these has Native American. We'll I'll hit one eventually, for heaven's sake. Hurry up and come on. I think I have to um, erase, I mean, to move some of my videos off of here. I think that I have too much on this computer. And it's getting really, really slow. But I do have a lot open, too. Indian. That's it. So that's world, the don't, cat, or whatever you call that, world, add mixture proportions. And that's about right. I mean, the 5.66 was um, what they estimated um, at uh, family tree DNA. And um, Judd Natch will give you even like little trace amounts, which might just be noise, which may not actually mean mean anything. It may just be noise. But they do show more trace amounts that um, the other companies don't show. So that's about it. Um, Go back, 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 and farther back. 
Keep going back. Let me see. 